and we are now under the care of Dr. Martha Carvajal. Uh, Dr. Carvajal is originally from Peterborough. He graduated top of his class, magna cum laude, at the Chiropractic College, CMCC, same one that Dr. Bernstein went to, just around the corner, actually. Uh, in 1994, he then spent about a year here and decided he wanted something a little bit more exotic, so he went to Italy. And he was practicing in the Abruzzo region for about 15 years. And I hear it was glamorous, uh, but same old story. He met a girl and came home. So <laughs> he's been home since about December. What does that word say? What's that word? Different. 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 A little louder? Different. different. Right. Because what we're doing is something different. Okay. And if people try to put what they're used to, uh, what they're used to experiencing in this, it won't fit. Okay, so I have to help people change their mindset a little bit. For me, these talks are very important, and they're almost more important than the cure you're getting here. Because one of my objectives is, is to help you, not, not to teach you what to think, but help you how to think in a different way. Okay, because I, it, how many here would say that your health is important to you? Raise your hands. Okay, okay. So can anybody tell me what the fastest growing sector of the population is? Is it little babies, teenagers? Middle age? Seniors. Seniors. What kind of seniors? Babies. Old These kind of things. So let's think about that. We're doing preventative medicine. So we'll do screenings, we'll do mammograms and all that stuff. And so what is that doing? What's the best result we can get out of that? If I'm doing mammograms every year or I'm doing blood work all the time, all that kind of stuff. Finding it earlier. Okay? I'm finding the disease, the symptom, or the problem earlier. So is that really prevention? Do it to prevent them in the first place. You have to get the essential back. So here's a little question. There's four things that are essential for the human body. If you don't have one of these four things, you're going to start dying in a matter of seconds, basically, because it's actually essential for to, to live. Can you guys tell me what the four essentials of life are? Oxygen. Oxygen. Awesome. Water. Water. Good. Okay, all these great cookies that Sean made, you guys are still out there. <laughs> Food, water, oxygen. Number four. I've done this talk hundreds of times, and usually I'm here for a half hour. <laughs> but I'm not going to wait that long tonight. Does anybody know? No. Okay, let's think about that. There's a cadaver. Let's do a check here, a mental check. I'm going to check your blood pressure right now. It's great. It's 120 over 80. You're going to go for a run. And I'm going to check it right after you're finished running. Is your blood pressure going to be up? Sure. Yes. Okay, should I give you a blood pressure medication to bring that down? No. no. Why not? Because you got high blood pressure. No, it's normal. You got high blood pressure. No. It goes down. On its own. Why is it going to go down? Because you're not doing it. Because the body is regulating itself, okay? Now, think about that carefully. We said the body's entire inside of before. It's electricity. Your brain actually produces electrical energy. And you know how you recharge your brain? 90% of the stimulation and nutrition to the brain is generated by movement of the spine. This would be analogous to a windmill generating electricity or one of those handheld flashlights where you go like this and it charges up the battery. When your spine moves, it stimulates the most important organ in your body, your brain. An advanced neurological testing with the computer and all this extra neurology. Who's had the exam with me? Okay, there's been a couple people. Was it pretty interesting? Oh, yes. Okay, you ever had an exam like that before in your life? No way, right? <laughs> okay, so I don't want to guess with your health. I, want, I can measure it. Yeah. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your patience, and I hope you learned something.